Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this IBM WebSphere Data Power Tutorials, we will see about the cryptographic tools available in Data Power Appliance. So, what actions can be done using the cryptographic tools available in Data Power? So, there are three key things that you can do using the, the cryptographic tools in Data Power. So, one is you can create keys and certificate pairs using these cryptographic tools. So, the second is you can export and import keys and certificates between Data Power Appliance using these options and the third one is you can convert uh, keys and certificates from a specific format to uh, another format so there are a lot of formats in which the certificates and uh, key files are available so if you need to convert those things into some other format you can use these cryptographic tools so what's the procedure to create a key and certificate pair so the first step would be when you create a generate a key uh, your key file and a CSR is generated Okay. So, this CSR is called as a certificate signing request. So, for the CSR you have to provide some informations. Okay. So, uh, the informations would be your organization details, uh, your uh, validity period, the state in which your organization is located, the country, the locality and uh, you need to provide all these details in the CSR. So, this CSR is again then submitted to a CA, CA stands for a Certificate Authority. So, Certificate Authorities or uh, companies like Verisign, GeoTrust. So, their duty is they will validate if the information provided in the CSR are uh, authenticated. So, they, they do a kind of background check. So, suppose if I, I, I say I create a website and I say myself as a, uh, the owner of Amazon. Uh, then I have, if I send this uh, details to a CA like where is and they will not agree because they do a background check and they will they will uh, certificate that that is the, that this provider is the authenticated one. So you can see in many uh, websites like uh, uh, where it is SSL protected, you can you can see that uh, it is. Um, verified by or secured by Verisign. So that is the role of a CA. So, once the CSR is provided to the CA, so the CA uh, signs the CSR and it returns back to the organization. So, uh, after it is written back, the signed certificates are then loaded into the appliance. So, this is the process on how to generate a key and a certificate. So, thanks for watching this video. In my next video, you will be seeing about a short introduction on XML Manager. Thank you.